Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So I've been making videos in Portuguese for the past few months and I will now start to also make videos in English and for those of you who are Portuguese watching this, don't worry because I will still make videos in Portuguese but I will also um, make some videos in English so that I can cater to a broader audience. And the first video that I am going to be doing in English is a favorite video. I thought it was appropriate. It's the end of April. Actually, it's the beginning of May. So I have a lot of products here that I love using for the month of April. And I'm going to start with foundation. So this is an old love of mine, it is from Guerlain and it is Perure Gold. It's a very, very, very nice and luxurious foundation. It's very creamy, so it hydrates my skin really well. It leaves the texture smooth and it gives me a lot of coverage. I would say it gives me medium to full coverage. It's a perfect foundation to wear for an event or for if you're going to be photographed. It covers really well, but still leaving your skin natural enough that people won't look at you and think, oh, cake face. So I love this foundation. I had forgotten how much I loved it, but my skin was actually out a bit last month and I needed something that would give me the, co the coverage that I wanted uh, and still make my skin look healthy which is not very easy some of the foundations with more coverage I feel with my skin looking really dry and that was the last thing that I needed so this was a true savior and I love this foundation Another foundation I've been loving lately and that has been actually one of my favorites for years it's the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua and the reason why I love this foundation so much is because it also gives me a very luminous and healthy look to my skin. It is definitely a lot lighter coverage than the Guerlain one. It does not have full coverage at all. I would say you can build it up to medium. If you have a lot of stuff to cover in your face, you might not like it. It also isn't the most long wearing foundation, but as it fades, it's still leaves your skin looking super healthy. I think that is the main thing. It just makes my skin look so healthy. I love it so much. And I know it's been a favorite for a lot of people for a very long time. And I always go back to it when it's springtime and I need a little bit less coverage and I want my skin to look dewy. It's amazing. The next product is a blush. And this one is from MAC and it is in the shade Sun Basque. Now, this is said to be the favorite blush of um, Giselle Bunchen, and of course, we all want to look like her. And although a blush won't really cut it, you know, it's one step closer. So that's not the reason why I got it, really. It is just a really beautiful blush. It is kind of peachy, but has a hint of terracotta, so it's kind of an orangey blush with a really nice sheen. And I have been loving blushes and I've been loving whatever makes me look a little bit less pale because let's face it, I am I look like a ghost right now because you know I haven't gotten any sun in my skin during winter time obviously. And now that the sun has come out, I think you know, you always look healthy if you look a little bit more sun-kissed and I don't really want to go out in the sun because I value my skin a lot and also because, you know, it isn't hot enough for yet and I think that every product that has been giving me kind of a sun-kissed effect I love and this gives me exactly that. Plus, it lasts a really long time on the skin, it is smooth and blendable as you would expect from MAC, so I have really been loving this blush. Next I have three eyeliners and I'm going to start with two that I have already talked about on my blog and I will leave the link if you want to check it out. These are the highliners from Marc Jacobs and I just, I love this eyeliner so much. I have two of them, I have the one in Rococo and the one in Navy Noir and the reason why I like them so much is because they last super long even on waterline which I know is not the easiest thing to find. So I have Rococo which is kind of a bronzy shade and then I have Navy Noir, which is obviously a navy, a dark navy shade. And the reason why I think they are so beautiful as well is because they are metallic. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, uh, but they are metallic. So they give you a little bit of a sheen on your liner. And I think that is very flattering and beautiful. And they have a ton of colors. I want to get more, but I have so many other eyeliners from other brands. I can justify it really, but as soon as I need a new color, I, I know I will go for this line because it's blendable um, for a while, but then once it sets, it's 
it's set and you just it just won't move it doesn't budge and I think that is amazing in eyeliner another liner that I have been absolutely loving for the past six months and I wasn't even going to include this here because I know it is quite expensive and it is not available in Portugal but it is available you know everywhere else uh, you can get it from Selfridges, from Harrods, even if you're in Portugal. And it is the Eye Defining Pen from Tom Ford. Now, this is a liquid liner like no other that I have ever used. First, because it is the blackest black you have ever seen. And also, because it has two tips. One is really, really fine. And then the other that is a little bit bigger and both together will allow you to get the most amazing line you will ever get in your eye. So this really small tip is amazing to do your wing and then this one I find like I can use it steadier than most um, eye pens and even though it is expensive and I know it is an investment it has been lasting me for so long I think I've had it for I don't know, at least six months, and it's super black still. Um, it's nowhere near drying. You know, wishful thinking. I think you actually get the value that you pay for this product. It's really amazing. So Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen in the shade One Deeper. So the next product is a cream shadow and just like Tom Ford, it isn't available in Portugal but you can order it from UK websites and this one is from Charlotte Tilbury which is actually a British um, makeup artist that I love I mean, who wouldn't love her? She's brilliant and this is her Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Marie Antoinette It's a bronzy color it's so easy to just, you know, grab a little with your finger and just pat it on your lid and you have your whole eye look done just there because it is so metallic that it will look like you have two or three eyeshadows on your lids when really you only have this and what I think really makes this one different from other cream shadows out there is the texture it is super creamy, it is a bit moussey I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but it's almost like a mousse and I mean Look at it, it's so beautiful and so pigmented, um, has such a beautiful sheen and it lasts really long on the lids. I think that if you have really oily lids you would benefit from using a primer underneath and I hope that Charlotte Tilbury gets to Portugal really really soon because her products are amazing. Next up is a lipstick and this one is the Wonderful Cushion by the Sephora brand and I have talked about it on my blog as well as well as the um, uh, cushion foundation and the cushion blush that they also launched and I have to say I really fell in love with the lipstick which I was so skeptical about because you know it has a, a tip that is rounded and it is a cushion um, and the product comes out from the middle of it and I thought, you know, the application is going to be really messy but I wanted to try this formula so I got this one and I love it so much now first the color is beautiful it really reminds me of Relentlessly Red from MAC which is one of my favorite red lips ever um, and then the best thing is the actual formula I don't, really, I don't even know if it's the formula or if it's really the applicator because the fact that it's rounded makes it so easy to, to apply to your lips and it actually allows you to stay within the lines and then the finish is beautiful it is a matte but it almost looks like a, a stain and it's like a blurred stain like you have bitten lips oh it's so beautiful I love it and like I said I have a full review on my blog as well as pictures of me wearing it so if you want to see how it looks head on to there I will leave the links down below I really think this product is worth it there were I think five other shades and I'm very tempted to get a few others so next I have skincare to talk about like I said, my skin had been acting out quite a bit, it was quite flaky on some areas but then I had a lot of blemishes and I wasn't really sure what was going on with it so I had to really reformulate all my skincare routine and these are some products that have stood out for me by a mile and the first one I'm going to talk about is actually by Glam Glow, it is the Power Cleanse Daily Dual Cleanser 
uh, mud and oil to foam. And the one I love is this one that has the two parts. One is the oil and then the other part is the um, foam. Um, you have two pumps in here. One of them pumps the oil and then the other one, the actually it's not foam, it's, it's clay. And you put this, this on your skin while your skin is still dry, you massage it and then you remove it with water. And I find that it removes my makeup super well. It removes all the dirt and impurities. The oil makes it super soft. It makes my skin feel more hydrated. And then the clay really draws out the impurities. So I've been really loving this cleanser and I'm already almost down by half because I really love it so much and I have been using it every night. Next up, a mask that totally saved my skin and is super super amazing it is the Amrovitsa ultra more mud mask and I got this actually because my hero Lisa Eldridge <laughs> was talking about it I think on Facebook she showed this and she said that she was running out of it and she had to run and get more because she loved it and you know if Miss Eldridge says that she loves something I am probably gonna be really curious about it and of course I was and I researched about it and everyone was raving about this mask so this is a mud mask so you put it on your skin and your skin is completely gray and then you leave it for I think 10 to 20 minutes I always leave it for my masks for longer but anyway, you leave it for a little long and then when once you remove it, I mean, your blemishes will be smaller, your skin will be brighter and you will also feel, beyond feeling super clean, super cleansed, your skin will feel like it doesn't have any more impurity, but we will also look and feel super hydrated. And I think that is amazing. I have never ever in my life used a better mask than this. Than this. And trust me, I have tried a lot of masks because I am a maskaholic and this is definitely the best that I have tried. Forget all the other Glam Glow, you know, clay masks. They are great, but they are not as good as this. The only downside for this is, of course, it is not sold in Portugal and it is expensive but you don't really need a lot of this every time you use it you need just a little amount so it will last you a long time and what it does for your skin is just so much better than any other mask that i've ever tried i really love this stuff so my next product is a moisturizer and i think i've mentioned before that my previous favorite moisturizer of all time was discontinued it was the chanel hydromax plus active in gel form and they launched a new one but it's nowhere near as good as the old formula and i have been looking for a nice gel texture cream ever since because i don't like those really heavy feeling creams and i finally found one that i am loving and this one is the sunday riley title brightening enzyme water cream this is really nice it really moisturizes your skin so deeply your skin you know i put it at night and then i wake up with my skin feeling super soft but when you put it on it is so light and refreshing it is this type of gel with a blue color it's just so so beautiful and sunday riley is known for really good products really good skincare products and this is kind of a recent uh, launch for her so there weren't a lot of reviews when when i ordered it and now i have been seeing that most of the people who tried it really like it and i am just one of them i really like this if you have dehydrated skin but your skin type is combination or even normal and oily i would say this is so fabulous now if you have really dry skin i don't know if it's going to be enough because you may like the feeling of a richer cream but i definitely think that this would provide enough hydration because it has a lot of hyaluronic acid it actually has two forms of hyaluronic acid and it has tamarind extract and papain enzymes and also arbutin and exotic floral extra extract to brighten hyperpigmentation and illuminate from within now i don't know about the hyperpigmentation bit i do have a little bit of hyperpigmentation on my cheeks but I haven't noticed a difference in it but I haven't been using it for enough time to say if it actually does something for that I do know that it does a lot for hydration so if you're looking for a really nice hydrating moisturizer title and last but definitely not least Olaplex this is magic for your hair. This um, is a treatment that you will put on your hair before you wash it and you leave it on your hair for about you know half an hour. They say I think 10 minutes but I always leave it for longer and I think it really uh, works better if you leave it for longer. I leave it for hours sometimes if I have the time 
and then I'll wash my hair normally and I immediately feel that it is so much softer than if I hadn't used this and it is supposed to be a reconstructor it says use once a week between chemical services to strengthen hair so it is supposed to really strengthen your hair and I feel like it, it does it is the, pro the only product I have tried in my really dry brittle damaged hair that has been working for me I have some highlights that really damaged my hair and nothing was really making it better until I tried this so if you have again dry brittle damaged hair and you are desperate like i was try this one olaplex also has two more steps that you can do at a salon this is just the home step but i feel like already it does make a huge difference i don't know about the two steps that you can make in salons because i have never done them but you can buy this and do this at home yourself and it's much better than any mask that i have used so i really think this is amazing for your hair and that's it guys that was my first video in english i hope you enjoyed it um i hope this was helpful to you and useful if you were thinking about getting one of these products uh, i will leave the links to my blog about whatever product that i have here that i have already reviewed on there and i hope you follow me on my social media i will leave the links for facebook and instagram and i will leave the link for my um, blog and of course subscribe to my channel come back for more like this video if you liked it and and yeah, I will see you on my next video. Bye.